Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mick Rockin coming at you from the Mick Rockin Lounge on behalf of Ford Motor Company's Give Me the Gig 2. This year things are bigger than they were last year three times. So three people or three bands will get to record with the fabulous Grammy Award winning Don Wass as one of the prizes. And uh, it's going to be a huge, huge contest for the next few months and just an amazing experience for a lot of these bands that are involved and if you haven't had the opportunity to check out Gimme the Gig more uh, I would absolutely do so and see all the bands that are involved there's some amazing videos and some amazing talent and uh, today we actually have iShine with us and I was lucky enough to actually see them live last year at the finals they were one of the top seven finalists that made it all the way to Whiskey A Go Go in Hollywood California and got to play live in front of Don Watts so this is the first band I've interviewed uh, thus far in the McRockin' Lounge for Gimme the Gig 2 uh, that made it last year, and uh, I would love to play something from them, see what you guys think, and then we will talk to the band, and we have all the band members with us today. So this is I Shine, and the name of the song is Our Whole Lives Tonight. So here you go. <laughs> Shine, but to check out more, you can visit them on Facebook, Reverb Nation, or absolutely at gimmethegig.com where you can vote for them as well. But I would like to welcome the band and say hi to everyone in I Shine. Hey! What's up? <laughs> hey guys. If you guys wouldn't mind introducing yourself and telling everybody who we have on with us today. <laughs> Hello? Oh, somebody's having a baby? Yeah, our lead guitarist is having a baby right now. Oh, awesome. <laughs> well, who else who else on the phone with me right now? And what positions are you guys? What instruments do you play? Uh, drums, Maurice drums, Johnny rhythm guitar and vocals, and Chris Ball, the bass player. Very awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I know that you guys are on tour right now, aren't you? Yes, we are right now. We're on the second leg of our tour, which is in Miami. How's the weather down there? Hot? It's hot. <laughs> Yikes. It's hot where I'm at, so let alone Miami. has got to be crazy. How's tour been for you guys? Of course, it's awesome. <laughs> What's been the coolest thing that's happened on tour so far? What's the coolest thing? Yeah. We got attacked by mosquitoes, so that was, that was interesting and very cool. You were attacked by mosquitoes? Yeah, Miami mosquitoes love our blood for some reason. <laughs> so, since you guys are the first band I've interviewed that was really actively um, part of the finals last year, how was your experience last year with Gimme the Gig for all the bands that are entered this year to know? Um... It was it was awesome. It was it was kind of surreal, you know. We 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 were just playing and having fun, and and next thing we know, we're we're in the finals. It, it, it's we just had fun. I mean, we knew it was a competition, but the other bands, everybody was cool, you know. It wasn't like anyone anyone was out to get anybody else. It was just kind of a cool experience. Yeah, I remember there was a moment when one band was missing a piece of equipment, and somebody else was. You know, there were three other bands running around looking for it and another band offering for them to use it. And I, it really wasn't a competition. I, it was really a 
just a great night where all the bands just had a great time, I think. So. Yeah, definitely. So what would you say was kind of the best part of the finals last year when you guys were at Whiskey? Um, well, just the feeling that we were playing live on TV, that was like, the best part. And also meeting Don Loss in person was really awesome. Was he as nice as you thought he was going to be? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, he was totally cool. Yeah. So, yeah, just so all of you who didn't know, last year, the finals with the top seven bands, um, it was broadcast on KTLA during Sweeps Week, which was a pretty fabulous experience for all these bands to have such a platform and the company did an amazing production um, and it was fabulous so so what do you guys have in store this year for Gimme the Gig 2? Can you repeat the question? What do you guys have in store this year for Gimme the Gig 2? How are you guys uh, going to vamp it up even more than you did last year? Uh, more awesomeness. <laughs> You guys did not suck, so don't even say that. You were fabulous. We were last time. And how would you guys explain who you guys are as a band to everybody that's listening? Um, how would we explain ourselves as a band to everyone who's listening? Yes. Um, well, as far as our, our style, we call it edge rock. Um, it's, it's basically modern alternative rock um and uh yeah i I don't really know i guess i I don't want to say emo because a lot of people think that's bad you know but but obviously our music does have emotion to it otherwise we really wouldn't play it um so we basically just write songs that we feel passionate about or, or things that occur to us and you know we just do what we do i guess so I guess for all the, the listeners and the people that are watching this, what would be a secret that nobody knows about Eyeshine that you would be willing to disclose with Mick Rockin? Something funny that's uh, happened? or A secret? Well, there's some people who know, but there's a lot of people who might not know this, but our front man, Johnny, he used to be a Power Ranger. <laughs> Which Power Ranger was he? He was the Black Power Ranger after the Black Power Ranger. <laughs> and uh, did he enjoy being a Power Ranger? Uh, he loved the spandex mostly, I think. <laughs> Loves the spandex. So, uh, Eyeshine has a uh, person in the band who actually was a real live Power Ranger. So, fun fact that not a lot of people know. And what... You guys have already had the opportunity to talk to Don Wass and be a part of things. What would you say to him this year about why you guys should win? What What makes you different? What has this year changed about Eyeshine? Uh, that's a tough question, you know, because uh, it, it kind of assumes that we think that we deserve it. Um, and I, I kind of feel like that I mean, we are passionate, and we've actually been thinking about it all year since we played, um, just trying to figure out the things that we did wrong, you know, and we've, we've watched the tape actually over and over and saw, you know, our performance, and, and we've kind of just, we've, we've actually, we've changed up our live performance a little bit um, uh, in, in some of the songs and, and the dynamics, I guess, within, from one song to the next, to see if that will help at all um i don't really know what i'd say to him i I would guess i would just say you know we're gonna do what we love to do and i hope that you know this would do it for him absolutely i think that's a that's a great answer so you know um this is i shine that i'm speaking with you should check them out at gimmethegig.com they are a fabulous band and their music video is beautiful there's these mountain scenes and these ledges that are just incredible so if you have a moment to check them out, I would absolutely do so. And uh, we wish them the best of luck on tour. And uh, I wish you good luck in Give Me the Gig too. and would love to see you guys in the finals again. So thank you for taking the time to talk with me. I know you guys are busy, busy, and probably have a show tonight. Thank you.
Thank you. All right, guys, be safe. And uh, it's Mick Rockin' in the Mick Rockin' Lounge. For Ford, give me the gig too. Visit www.gimmethegig for more information or to sign up. And I just spoke with iShine. So everybody have a great night, and thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.